Hello and thanks so much for watching Stephen Mendy's educational videos. Please be sure to like it and be sure to subscribe to this channel for many more videos on a wide range of different subjects. Today we're looking at negative numbers and how they may be represented inside your digital computer. Negative numbers have the MSB, or most significant bit, as a 1. Basically, as you can see there, we take all the possible numbers that we can get on 4 bits and we divide them into 2 groups. From 0 to 7 has a 0 as the most significant bit, and from 8 to 15 has a 1 as the most significant bit. The only problem that we have with this scheme is de deciding which combination or pattern is going to apply to which negative number. Now I've written two schemes which are fairly similar, one in red which is called one's complement and one in turquoise which is called two's complement. And as you look at them, you will see that the main difference is that one is slightly bigger than the other because the zero, negative zero, has been eliminated and in its place we have negative one. These are the two schemes that we are going to study and we are going to learn how to manipulate simple algebra with these two schemes, one's complement and two's complement. Modern day computers use the two's complement system, but when computers were first invented, the one's complement system was popular. Now let us see the one's complement, since it came first, is the easiest to follow. All we do is complement or swap the ones and zeros between the negative and positive numbers. So there you can see that if we have the 7 written down and we change all the bits, we get a minus 7. And if we have the positive 5 written down and we change all the bits, that is make the zeros 1s and the 1s 0, then we have a negative 5. So that explains our red column. And the only thing that, uh, the only problem with this scheme, as you can see, is that we have two zeros, a negative 0 and a positive 0 which is actually nonsense. So we solve that by moving to the two's complement system where our solution is to add one to all the numbers. Let's see how that works out in practice. There we have the plus seven and the plus five. And we have taken the one's complement of it in the one's complement column and we have added a one to each of the two numbers in the least significant bit to give us the two's complement column. So what you need to do is remember to add one to your one's complement to reach your two's complement. But let's talk for a minute about binary addition, shall we? Binary addition is easy when compared to decimal addition. Here we're going to do a little decimal addition and then we'll do some binary addition. We're going to add 748 to 309. Now what we do is we add the 8 and 9 and we come up with 17. But there's no way to, to represent 17 as one symbol. So we know that we have a 10 and a 7. So we write that 1 right under the 10s column and we put the 7, which is left back, under the units column. So what happens now? We add the 4 and the 1 to get a 5. So far, so good. Now when we add the 7 and the 3 in the next column, we are going to come up with 10. But we can't write 10, so we write a 0 and a 1 in the next column. That's how we add, people. That's how we add. 
So let's do it in binary, shall we? The first few are quite easy. We add the 1 to the 0, which gives us a 1. In the next column, we add the 1 to the 0, which gives us a 1, moving from the right to the left. Then we have a column with two zeros. And the first time we run into any kind of a problem is when we have to add two ones together. Notice that is in the fourth column from the right. And we have added two ones. But we can't write down a two. So what we do is we put a one in the next column and write down a zero. So this is working very similar to our decimal system. And if you want to go back, you can check it for yourself. All that happens is that when we get a 2, because we can't write the 2 in that column, we put a 1, carry a 1 to the next leftmost column, left column, and we write a 0 in that column. Now, in the row that we're looking at, in the fifth row, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the right-hand side of our binary addition, we have 3. We have 1 plus 1 plus 1. We have three ones in that column where we certainly can't write down a 3. So what we do is we carry a 1 and we write a 1 as shown. A 1 is carried forward into the next column and we write a 1. And it makes perfect sense because the column on the left is twice the value of the column on the right. So essentially, that one that we have written below the line is actually a 2 in the next column. So that's to be read 2 plus 1 is 3. So there we have now two ones to be added, the one on top and the one underneath. And when we add 1 and 1 is 2, once again, we can't write down the 2. So we carry the 1 and write a 0 as shown. And continuing that same pattern, off we go. And like, we, like as we had over in the uh, decimal addition, we have one extra beyond our total number of columns for the numbers we were adding. Okay, so you can watch this over till you feel perfectly comfortable with your binary addition. See you in the next video.